Hey Noodles, where are you? You're supposed to film the review with me. Where the hell are you, man? Hello? and welcome to another edition of the Retro Reviews. I am your host, The Strange Monkey. And today, we're going to be talking about the third entry in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise, Leatherface, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3, released in 1990. So, without wasting any time, let's get into it. While driving through Texas, Michelle and Ryan stop at the Last Chance gas station but after they witness the owner attacking a hitchhiker named Tex, they panic and flee. In their hasty departure, they get lost and soon find themselves pursued by the chainsaw-totting maniac known as Leatherface. While running, the couple bump into survivalist Benny, who they team up with in an effort to escape. There is roadkill all over Texas. So you have the two main characters, Michelle and Ryan, and they're coming back from California they're on a trip and they stop at a gas station in Texas and they run into some trouble and then they run into even more trouble later on at night when they encounter someone trying to kill them they run into a guy named Benny who helps them along the way but then that's when things get crazy they run into Leatherface the chainsaw wielding legend who happens to be in the area with the rest of his family so let's talk about that I think it's a little bit inaccurate when you have all of these different Sawyer family members. How did he survive in part two? I need to, ex I need to know, because in the second film, a grenade went off in the second movie. How did Leatherface survive? They don't even explain what happened to the other family members. Are they alive? Are they dead? I don't know. I think it's a little ridiculous how all, all of these other family members just pop up out of nowhere. It's not a reboot, it's a straight up sequel. It's kind of strange. I find it a little ridiculous that they didn't film this in Texas. It was in Southern California. Here's the rule, folks. If you are going to film a Texas Chainsaw Massacre film, you film it in Texas. That's that. Despite all that, I mean, Leatherface is pretty badass in this movie. I think they did a good job with this character, but the story was a little bit predictable. Um, you pretty much knew who was good and who was bad halfway and also they had they threw in some things like the uh, they threw in the idea or they were suggesting the fact that Leatherface has a daughter but they never really you know dove in deep with that they just left it there okay so what are we doing guys so anyway um, acting was all right you know like the characters weren't really that important you didn't really care about them except maybe one the one man you do not want to fuck with in this movie is Benny, played by Ken Forey from Dawn of the Dead, Keenan and Kel, and the Devil's Rejects. And he is not taking shit from anybody. He's a survivalist, and these asshole Sawyers decided to fuck with him too, and he's not having it. He is not having it. Leatherface has met his match. To be completely honest with you, the trailer looked a lot better than the movie see this guy standing there and then all of a sudden a chainsaw comes out of the water or this woman's hand just reached out it's like a goddess threw the chainsaw out into the air and then the man catches it and it turns out to be Leatherface it looked so promising man unfortunately we got what we got well, it could have been so much better they shot so much stuff and the higher ups in Hollywood started cutting things down and they were forced to edit so many things so so it could be an, an R rating because it was an X rating and unfortunately it kind of went downhill the movie was a failure it is what it is it's not horrible it's just decent but unfortunately the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3 is on the chopping block <laughs> anyway guys thanks for tuning in to this episode of the uh, retro reviews and be sure to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Check out Three from the Grave. 
We're going to be coming out with some new material. Check out the Facebook and have yourselves a good fright. There's roadkill all over Texas. <laughs>